Hello, hello! I'm Perexion, and welcome back to part 9 of our Heroes 5.5 playthrough. So, before we start, let me just say that the blue skulls <laughs> actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Funnily enough. But, uh, yeah, so in the previous episode, we basically cleared out a whole bunch of these uh, places, and we finally got around to getting back to our town and upgrading some of our troops. And, uh, yeah, this has been quite a big difference, actually. Our vampires are... Pretty almost unkillable at this time, let me see, put it like that. And uh, so far, um, we haven't made it through yet. We got visited by Green uh, a few rounds ago, uh, which prompted us to actually go check uh, for some information. And it looks like we have, oh, you're, you're an overlord, okay, so you're a, a might hero. And we have you here, which is a shaman. Okay, so a bit more of a spellcaster then. And then it's me, which is definitely a spellcaster, <laughs> given my stats. Okay, so okay, this could be interesting, but I'm looking at the stats. I'm definitely not behind. Oh, wow, yeah, it's a lot of morale and luck actually. Uh, yeah, bro, they are going to have a lot of luck and morale, it seems. Uh, also, one thing I did say I was going to check, but never did, is the town's uh, ability of the new place. And that is that the resource silo also produce one extra ore each day. So, if we were to build this one, we'd actually start gaining that bonus. Um, Alright, so let's just grab the Rune Tower while we're here. And we could actually grab the Dragon Graveyard for more dragons. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that, but at the same time, uh, it would be nice uh, to also um, upgrade them or get more dragons. This is a tricky situation, actually. Okay, so let's get you back into town, first of all. And I realized sending the troops to my second town uh, did not make a lot of sense actually and um, I can't upgrade them from here uh, so I should probably just send them to my first town instead and grab them with a dimension door alright so let's get back to my main town here restock a mana a bit and then upgrade okay so uh Okay, so I can grab those. Okay, so I can actually afford this. However, uh, let's see here. How much does the dragons actually cost? Oh, it's still only one gem. Okay, it cost me 500 each to upgrade. Okay. Well, in that case... Oh, I also had the tombstone, right? Okay, so let's just upgrade them then. And then, let's see here, can I afford this? Oh, it's only 6,000, okay, perfect. Uh, which one are we going to pick then? Um, so, you're a little bit quicker and has a little bit less health. And as for abilities, you have Sorrow Strike, which applies Sorrow whenever you hit someone. You have Cursing Attack, so you apply Curse. Reduce damage you can inflict. Uh, and you have the death star. I think the curse attack is better. We definitely want to be to not take a lot of damage on the retaliation so far. So I think you go with the shadow of the spectral dragons. And uh, it's just an added bonus that we also get to reduce all of their morale by one. Okay, so we at least have that, um, and we were going to grab... Okay, uh... Okay, uh, I hope I didn't spend extra gold there. <laughs> okay, let's see here, um... That should be it. Right. Um, yeah. Wait a minute, did I? No, I didn't upgrade my ghost either. Okay, so I guess the ghosts are going to be regular ghosts for a bit longer. 
Uh, okay. Cursed ring and some gold. No, uh, let's just hurry forward here. Um, so, get over there. And as for you... You have some skeletons hanging around here. Mm, okay, so let's just leave those there for now. And uh, let's go exploring, shall we? With you, and you've grabbed everything. Okay, so are we going to make a gamble? Uh, there are 47% chance of actually winning some gold here, so... I mean, let's do it. Hey, we actually won! Okay, <laughs> nice. That's good, okay. Um, so, okay, this is Mission Log, Kingdom Overview. Oh, I haven't even seen this one. Hey, this is pretty nice, actually. You can see how many troops we have left to purchase from here. And we can have an overview of our heroes. Huh, okay. Huh, okay, that, that's actually pretty neat, I have to say. Didn't know this actually existed. We can see our income from here. Okay, too bad we can't see these quests. So we grab the quest that we need to Necklace of the Lion. And it's not you. Okay, this Necklace of the Lion. Okay, so we might want to sell some of your artifacts as well for extra gold okay all right so at least we managed to fill up oh do we have visitors again um i think it was just someone doing a uh, town portal in back or town gate hopefully <laughs> i don't see anyone around here so it's probably that Okay, so yeah, we have managed to fill up uh, at least three or, or four unit stacks, so now we just need to start working on the next stack. Okay, you're not very quick, are you? Uh, governors has a movement penalty when they're at low level. Okay, so that's a four-leaf clover. Okay, so you go first, and you should probably swing by here. Uh, grab some more mummies. Maybe some spells. Man, I, do I actually need to upgrade some stuff here? Uh, Okay, let's just upgrade my citadel first of all. Okay, so I need a lot of wood now. Um, okay, let's let's just grab the ghost. Might be useful to have. Okay, so um, there's no wood lying around anymore. I grabbed all of it. Okay, I haven't even been to this. Okay, I might as well check it out. Hey, <laughs> nice. No time for this creature. Some wolves. Okay. Okay, so let's just clear out the crypt and all of these stacks. We can get some more spell power. I mean, 24 is not enough. Uh, basically, we're probably going to switch some of these around. I'm thinking that we might do something like this, which will actually bring us up to 18 attack. But, uh, hmm. Then we also need some more... It would be nice to have some defense, but... Uh... Oh, well, we'll see if we find it. Um... Wasn't there, like... <sighs> I feel like I've seen an artifact around here. Yes, there, there it is, the man Mantle of the Legion. Give me some extra tier 6s together with so, a lot of defense, which might actually be quite useful to pick up. Oh yeah, so I think you're just going to have to try to catch up. Try to keep up with my hero here. Okay, so 
everything, all that's left now is upgrading a few buildings, or just these two buildings, and this town is complete. We'll see when we get around to doing that. Okay, so I could do some town gate shenanigans by getting my magic guild up to level 5 here, and I could use the town gate to jump between those, these two towns, upgrading troops. So I don't really need to spend any gold on upgrading the buildings inside of here. Ooh, Lord of the Undead. Uh, okay, so uh, all Necropolis heroes raise an additional amount of skeleton equal to their knowledge. I could get some extra from this. And you just having some skeletons would give me some extra gold per round. But then again, just having more dark energy for next for next week seems very quite useful. All right, so let's just move a little bit. Oh, okay, so even more spell power. Okay, this is kind of ridiculous with how many spell power boosts there are around here. Uh, okay, so let's just grab the gold for now and continue up here. And uh, that is... Uh, what is that artifact? Treeborn Quiver. Four attack, a little bit of ammo to fall from the shooters. Okay, that's a pretty bad artifact. Okay. Well, this is interesting. I did not expect to find that many s things over there. And then I also have this area I need to explore. Alright, uh, I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, let's just jump into this fight. Okay, so some liches, which might be a uh, bit annoying, but I will be able to resurrect everything. Um, okay, I think you swapped positions for some reason, but I'm not going to complain. Okay, so confusion does not work, unfortunately. Uh, I do have a shadow image, could be useful. You could do ma more slow. Okay, so you're just... Okay, you're not upgraded at least. Okay, so there's a mixture of up... Okay, so these three are upgraded, right? Yeah, okay, but you're not upgraded, okay. Um, more slow is probably quite useful. Unless I want to do a teleportation here. Okay, so... You... Can't reach down here. Okay, so I think I'm just going to teleport my vampires all the way over here. Get them there. And we can just move down here in the corner. Okay, and we just need to focus on keeping our guys alive here. Okay, I still, even though they have a shield, I think this is a pretty good start. Okay, at least we have a healing tent now, helping out a little bit. Alright, so uh, we need to get through you guys, so I'm going to start with a slow. Okay, that's pretty good. That you got one miss on a low damaging attack. Okay, so let's see here. I think I'm going to... Ooh, you know what? I could just do a shadow image, actually. And I could use my shadow images to attack over here. Okay, so I think my vampires are just going to have to do this fight. I can just reanimate those and those I lose. Yeah, that's a miss. Okay, that's a hit. Okay, so we hit every other for now. It's quite annoying. Because the last one was a hit. Okay, so... Mm, maybe I just drop an ice bolt here for now. Reduce them a little bit because you can't retaliate. So let's just take a free attack here. 
Reduce your damage a little bit more. Okay, am I going all in on this? Okay, I'm here apparently. And you missed because I'm uh, also <laughs> in Corporal. Uh, that's kind of funny actually. I guess I can hit there. I can wait and then we can reanimate all of these guys. Back to 115. So now we just need to hit these guys. There we go. Okay. Man, this kind of sucks. There's so much spell power. Oh, another of these. Oh, sack of endless gold. Nice. Okay. This is going to be quite a lot of extra gold, actually. Uh, see if we can manage to calculate this. Okay, so next turn, I think it uh, it will actually update to show how much gold, extra gold I'm getting from it. Okay, that was actually great to see. Yeah, I'm just going to explore here a little bit to see if there is any useful items over here. Okay, so I think the mantle will be placed over here. So, I lose the frost spell resistance, but I definitely think I need some more defense. Alright, so, which order? I think I'm going to start over here then. Okay, that's a free win. Finally, a free win. Uh, okay, Shackle Light. Flaming Arrow. Uh, I guess Occultism. I would, that would give me three extra spell power at least. Uh, I should just grab one of these. I have such a bad ballista anyways. So I have Battle Frenzy. This would actually, this would give me three attack if I pick this one. It could be useful. I don't think the flaming arrows are going to be any use of me. Uh, inflict additional fire damage is equal to level of the hero, so yay. <laughs> 24 x or 26 or whatever it is. Um, man, I would have loved to get one of the others, but maybe I'm just going to grab Shackle Light then. It gives me some extra dragon blood crystal, so more mummies, I guess. Yeah, so that was the drawback of getting that skill for free, is that it messes up my pool of stuff. Okay, so I can get some extra movement there. And the uh, morale, which I'm definitely not going to be using. I think that brings me back to zero morale again. Okay, uh, let's just go with... Uh, okay, I was a little bit too hasty, perhaps. All right, you do know some annoying stuff. I just let me down a little bit. Okay, so maybe it's uh, actually a good opportunity to do the mass decay and everything here. Okay, how? Oh, guys, why are you so fast? <laughs> I don't like to see that. Oh, mark of fire, okay. Um, okay, so these guys target rush dive. I need it's oh I never remember which one does which dive. Okay, so... Okay, you're just going to do a regular attack. That's fine by me. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I should probably just focus on reanimating my troops in that case. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. Okay, so you can just hang back. And we'll see what these... Angels are up to. Okay, that's two mummies.
32 damage. Okay, that's not enough to make any difference there. Okay, well, uh, I lost two. I could probably resurrect those as well. Oh well. Uh, like this was only mummies, but uh, we can grab some more movement here. Nice. And uh, I definitely want the shoes. Yeah, um, I mean, they're free. I do get some mummies every week, but still. Okay, so I'm curious to see what's up here. And now I'm missing uh, wood for everything I want to build. So let's just grab the resource silo then so I get one extra for my resource silo. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to get my magic guild going as well. Okay, uh, there's probably not anything else to do for this week. Okay, I'm getting close to a thousand dark energy now. That's quite a lot of troops. And then we can re-equip my uh, necromancy amulet again to gain some more uh, troops to resurrect. Or race, I should say. I'm just converted. Uh, wow, okay, that seems like very few troops for some reason. Okay. Hopefully this is also a free win. Power of Deflection, right. Cold Steel seems pretty nice. Sure, let's grab Power of Deflection. Free win, free win, nice. Okay, I did grab that one as well. Okay, so we're up to 26 spell power now. Um, a new guarding elemental wasteband. Okay, uh, might be something else up there. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to check with. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, that's two more spell power. Okay, so I'm just going to poke my head inside so at least can see a bit more. Then I think I'm going to. Head back over here. I want to grab this mantle and the extra stats from here. Okay, so there's nothing else there. Okay, so you can learn basic summoning mag. That's actually pretty useful. Uh, given that that's one of our two spells. Oh, another abandoned mine. Okay, uh, good thing I went over here. Uh, hopefully that will be a useful resource for us. Okay, so you need to head over here, grab the gold. Okay, so... Um, do you have any artifacts on you? Okay, nothing. Okay, so we're not going to lose anything if I were to lose you. Okay, that's good. Um, so I'm going to grab the gold and check if there's anything up there. Doesn't look like it, but uh, then we can go exploring. Okay, so... Lots of stuff happening here. Uh, okay, so it would be nice to get more of these troops. Um, the final day of the week as well. Okay, so theoretically, could I trade a whole bunch of sulfur? And I'm going to get a whole bunch of crystal as well every week. So, okay, so I can at least grab these. I won't have the castle, but uh, at least there's a few more bone dragons here now. Okay, well that's a pretty good start then. And uh, now that there's a new week, I need to remember to re-equip my necromancy amulet. So that we can actually make gain some more troops. This is interesting. I could get some more liches and vampires from here. Week of spears. Okay. Um, okay, just check this one building while I'm close by. Griffins. 
Wait, hold on a minute. Could I just grab these? Take them to uh, shrine and convert them into vampires. Why haven't I thought about this until now? Ah, okay, well, um, that would have made things a lot easier. <laughs> I could have gotten some extra troops earlier on. Uh, okay, so... Oh. Okay, um, I don't think I want any zombies, but uh, this is going to actually give me some movement running through here. Okay, this should be a free win. Apparently not. Okay. Oh, I see. Um, will I be hitting my own troops with a chain lightning? Okay. So I can get rid of you at least. Okay. I mean, my dragons should be fine. You will get healed by the tent. Okay, so you haven't fired yet, so I'll get rid of you. And, okay, fine. I, I'll take, I can lose one skeleton. That's okay. Or four skeletons. Okay, uh, I can't count. <laughs> Okay, don't need any zombies. Uh, I do have quite a lot of mana right now, so... I think I should just head for this one straight away. Like so. Okay, so the shrine needs even more. Because I have a whole bunch of crystal right now. I can trade away three more. Or twelve or three more. Okay, so I can just convert you into vampires now. Okay, that's uh, pretty neat, actually. Okay, I need to check this one off in that case. I think I had one... Don't they have one close by here as well? Oh, that's a casino. I think there was one over here somewhere. Oh well. Um, I need to grab my caravan troops first of all. Oh, okay, that is annoying. Okay, there is something cutting off my connection here. I wonder if it's time to actually start building my ghost stack now. Okay, I'm going to grab those. Okay, so I need to check now. I've lost connection between my two towns. And there uh, spawns some spare wielders right at this point. Uh, okay, um, so how do I solve that in an easy way? Um, I don't think I'm going to do that in that case. I'll just pull those troops and... You know what? I just realized something... As well, can't I just grab these? And take them here and convert them? I probably can. <laughs> so it wouldn't be that much of a difference if this is not upgraded. But I should probably check again to see if I can switch it over to a different faction. In that case... Yes, I need to get some more stacks up here, so... Maybe get my ghost and my uh, whites going. So now we can get Lord of the Undead. Uh, sure, let's just grab it. Already visited. Okay, so you don't have any troops. Okay, you can't, you, you can't get through it, okay, okay. Um, but I should probably ex just check what's over here before I dive in. Okay, so first of all, let's go check this place out. 
Ooh, okay, that, that is actually some losses. And I forgot to check which type of bird we're fighting here. Uh, one of them targets a square and one of them targets a line. So... Right, I should probably swap this as well, like so. Okay, so the longer we can push you back, the better. Okay, that's actually 19 seraphs. And that's 62 of those, okay. Um, do we have a decay? Uh, Maybe that would actually have been better. Okay, so I think... Uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to put Mass Confusion first of all. That would reduce your damage to half. And that would also mean that your retaliation attacks won't be as strong. Oh, nice. I actually got the Torpor. And I remember now that I forgot to actually check. I was going to check uh, how much... Extra damage I would deal when attacking through Paul Thorpe. Okay, so the rush drive is rush dive is going now, and the question is where is this going to strike? I'm going to assume that it's going to strike over here, but I mean I can't be sure for certain here. So um, can do some sorrow. I guess do a slow. Is this going to hit? Yeah, this is not... Oh. Oh, right. I could just double click here. Okay, so... In a line in the selected direction. Wow, okay. Uh, I didn't know you could actually double click on them down here. Okay, so let's just check uh, Torpor then. And uh, let's see. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so more it gets maximum damage from the Vampire Chris attack, it does not retaliate. Okay, so... Okay, good to know. So we deal maximum damage. Okay, so not too much extra damage, but... Oh, ah! No! Okay, I think uh, my mummies are going to take some damage now. Might as well add that one. Okay, so... Okay. Oh, right. I actually did an extra attack in them. Well, let's just continue then. Nice triggering again. Okay, so I'm just going to run away here. Wow, okay. I'm almost moved inside that attack. Okay, um, I need to focus on actually getting my troops back then. Because we've done your battle dive. Um... You have melee preference as well. Yeah, let's just get over here. And I should use Vampirism on my dragon so they can start regaining some health. Okay, nice, all of them are back. Perfect. Okay, so let's reanimate you. Okay, so we deal full damage on the, these guys now. Okay, so I haven't gotten all of them back yet, but I should pretty soon. Okay, so you're cursed. Yeah, you only deal 8 and 9 damage now, thanks to that. also heal even more okay so um let's see here you still have a little bit left of confusion i think that should be enough i'm just going to slow you down okay nice getting vampires back Slowly but surely. Okay, so... Hopefully this attack will be enough to actually get all of them back. 
And then I lose 4 immediately afterwards. Yeah, I think it should be fine. I just need to be careful to not trigger a lucky strike, which actually kills them. Okay. Two. Let's life steal two back. Perfect. All right. No losses. Yeah, this is pretty good experience. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um... How much does a dragon cost? 200. Ooh, okay. And a lich costs 100 points and a vampire is 54. Okay, so I could grab... A whole lot of them. Okay. Come on. So I can grab 17 vampires. Or I could probably grab nine of these. How many dragons can I grab? Three dragons. Ooh. I actually feel like I want to grab some more dragons. Uh, but 17 vampire priests or nine liches or... I think I'm going to grab the dragons. Oh, come on, I'm one point short of actually being able to grab one Lich and one Vampire. Okay, so in that case, uh, the option is between two Vampire Princess or one Arch Lich. So I think I'll grab the Vampires in that case. And then I have 45 left, which I can spend on something else. All right, that's not a bad ward from there. And I got two more knowledge and spell power. Okay, we're getting close to 30 spell power, which means that I should be able to swap one of my weapons or my staff or something. Maybe a bit more useful. Okay, so if the hero is experienced enough, I don't remember. Uh, the formula for that. Not experienced enough. Okay, well. Uh, we'll see when we can get that then. Okay, so more dragons. And now I just need castle. And the forlorn hall. And I'm pretty much done here. For now. And right, I need a magic guild level 5 so I can actually have heroes teleport back and forth. Grabbing, moving troops, upgrading them, reinforcing my main hero here. Oh, you're my main hero. You're level 27. Okay, so I still have found soldier's luck, unfortunately. That's unlucky. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, found some ore. Okay. These be kind, okay. Just some mummies. Okay, so now we can put everything together again. Like so. Okay, so I could just hang around, I think. This is suffering 13 attack. Yeah, I should probably just attack. Right. Not very useful. Okay, so... Uh, I could do a sorrow. Could do a slow. Um, could do a shadow image. That would, would be pretty interesting. Okay, so you don't have the area attack, so I might as well with these guys. Make use of that drawback. Okay, just cost slow. Yeah, we can just focus these guys down then. Oh yeah, so now it's going to be interesting here. 12 of them. Yeah, I will need to resurrect a few troops here. But hopefully these two together will be enough. Yeah, 
death whale. Okay. Um, do I need to hit you? Okay. That's all of them. Okay, so so far, so good. Oh, nice miss. Okay. Uh, I think this should be fine. Okay. Nice. That means I will be able to resurrect all of my vampires. Okay, they're even helping out a little bit with the first attempt. That should be all of them. And let's just save some steps. Yep, okay. Uh, so, four defense and some extra reinforcement. Okay, so you definitely need that one because I already have one of those. And uh, you can take this one. Probably won't be using this. You do this by. <laughs> okay, there's actually an improvement over this one <laughs> for a weapon. Okay, so we're getting close to filling the. completing that one. Uh, probably be using the Pendant of Mastery over this Uncle the Saint, so we're gonna move that one over. Okay, I think this is fine for now. There we go. That got some new spells as well. Okay, so. First of all, let's just start exploring a little bit. Okay, so there is a plus one attack over here. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so... Time to start exploring this middle area. And you... Okay, I definitely want to grab the abandoned mine. I think it's going to be use, quite useful in the long run. Oh, free win. Okay, nice. I take it. Um, okay, nothing I can grab from here with only 45 dark energy. Okay, one more spell power. Okay, and then we can get down to the abandoned mine. And hopefully, in the meantime, I'll be able to... Get this to my guild level 5. Oh, okay, I'm going to run low on gems actually for this. Uh, that's unfortunate. Well, uh, but there are some. Okay, there are some gems over here. That's fine. That's the, okay. Then it's okay. All fine. Okay, that will be quite useful then, and I may do maybe a jump back and forth just to may that's just to chain or consolidate all of my troops. This four leaf clover is also something I really want to grab. Eternal servitude. Um, this jig. Is still Lord of the Undead. Okay. Um, let's just grab basic offense. Master of the Hunt is all creatures in Heroes Army receive movement speed in battle, take it doesn't dirt terrain, and Acropolis heroes raise an additional amount of ghosts every week instead of skeletons. Um. I mean, sure, I would get a huge amount of ghosts from this. Actually. Okay, so... The best way would have been... You grabbing all of the troops, taking this fight... And then returning them, just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, but man, you're only level 6. This could be a bit dangerous. Uh, 
This should be a very easy fight. Man, this is annoying. Um, oh well, let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to play it safe. Do it with my main hero. Okay, it's probably fine. Okay, let's just do a sorrow on you and hopefully that'll be enough to distract you for a bit. Add some confusion as well. Yeah, nice. This least buys us some time. Nice, torpor placed. Okay, so who is going to take some damage? My Lich just is going to take some damage, okay. Okay, then I better start reanimating them again. Okay, and you're going for a single ghost, okay. Uh, you, you do you, I guess. Um, I think my these guys could probably handle this, so I'm going to start firing way over here. Oh, come on. Get away. Get away from here. Okay, good. No losses. And regular vampire is exactly 45 points. Okay, you know what? Let's just grab that one then. Okay, so... Mag resistance is pretty nice. That's at least something. Okay, so now you can just hurry up. Grab all of this. Trade. And you can grab that one. And then... I want to move this one over. I definitely want to have four luck instead of this two extra knowledge. Uh, especially if I switch my weapon over, I'm going to gain some knowledge back. Okay, so let's see what are my stats. I mean, those are pretty good stats. Uh, but it would have been even better if I could find a death embrace artifact, but I haven't so far. Okay. Uh... Oh, you know what I can do? Uh, can I borrow your dragons? I'm just going to go check this one. Okay, no fight. Then you can have your dragons back. <laughs> basic summoning magic. Or basic destructive magic. Wow, okay. Um... That's actually a pretty good question, which one I'm going to grab. Um, huh. Okay, so I think uh, if you guys have any suggestion on which one you think I should grab, uh, let me know it down in the comments. Uh, but it seems like uh, I mostly have summoning spells, so probably summoning, but... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it's going to, which we, we go with. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end this episode right here. And uh, yeah, look forward to the next one. Uh, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, have a good one. See ya.